I was supposed to be at the mall, and I decided I was going to go see my 15-year-old boyfriend. And so I called an Uber. Well, how old were you? Not, I was 15. He was okay. 15. And then I get in this guy's car, and we're just going. It's only like a 15-minute drive. And he pulls over into a parking lot. Oh, hell And is just oh, sitting there shit. with the doors locked. And me being dumb, I just kind of sit there in the back, like, for probably seven minutes. Seven minutes? Yeah, no, I just sat there silently not saying a word. You're the all. worst horror movie that, character I know, in the world. I, know. I didn't say anything. And then eventually I was like, hey. Like, why are we sitting in a parking lot? And he was like, oh, my directions aren't working. And I was panicking at this point because I was like, what if I die right now? So I said, oh, I can just pull it up on my phone. But I ended up getting there safe. Guys, I got scammed. <laughs> I was trying to find a cute Instagram boutique and I've had really good luck with some of them. I just wanted some tops, dresses, you know. So I ordered off here. Wear Remy. Sustainable reused packaging. It wasn't a plastic mailer from China. So I picked this dress, right? Cute, fun. I literally look like an off-brand Polly Pocket, like one you'd find on the ground at the dollar store. Also, everything had that Shein smell. If you know what I'm talking about, which is not a good sign. I got another dress, and the best part about this one is when I zipped it up, it wouldn't unzip, so I had to cut it off of me. I just... This one wouldn't zip at all. I also ordered one more shirt that they just completely left out of my order. Don't tell people your clothing is sustainable if you drop shipped it from China.